Today, we are going to do a step-by-step -step walkthrough on exactly how to passively invest in cryptocurrencies using the Wealthfront automated investing platform. So if you have Wealthfront, you'll want to go ahead and open up that account on your computer so that you can follow along with me. All right, let's jump right into it. What is going on, everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So again, this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial. So if you already have the Wealthfront platform, then you'll definitely want to go ahead and open that up so that you can follow along with me. And if you do not yet have the Wealthfront platform, I will leave a link down in the description below where you can sign up and actually get your first $5,000 of investments managed for completely free. So if you don't have Wealthfront, then definitely check that link out and let's get started. All right, so we're going to start off on my computer and show you how to do this on the Wealthfront desktop platform. Platform, but later in the video, I will also show you how to do this on a smartphone on the Wealthfront app. So if you want to just know how to do it on a phone, then you can skip to that section in the video using the chapter cards in the timeline. All right, so the first thing you will obviously want to do is just head over to the Wealthfront website. And once you get there, you're going to click log in in the top right hand corner of the screen. Obviously, you'll then go ahead and log in. And again, if you don't yet have Wealthfront, then I have made a ton of videos on this platform, including a dedicated video that just talks about the crypto passive investing. So I will leave a link to that in the description below if you want to check out that video. And again, another link where you can sign up and get $5,000 managed for free. All right, but if we take a look at the homepage that it's going to bring you to after you log in, you can see that this actually has all of the different accounts that I have linked to my Wealthfront accounts all tied under this one platform. And this is something that I really love. And one of the things that I I love about other platforms like SoFi, for example. And it breaks it up into cash accounts, which are basically like your bank accounts. And then you've also got your investments down here. And I do believe that there's a way to link liabilities. So in this case, I have one Discover credit card in here, but there's a lot of accounts that I don't have put in here that is probably something that I should take care of in the future. But what we're going to look at is actually these two accounts right here. So what we've got is my Roth IRA through Wealthfront, as well as an individual investment account through Wealthfront. Now they do have a ton of different account options, and those are just the two that I personally have, but I know that they also have SEP IRAs, Roth IRAs, like what I have, a traditional IRA, 401k rollover options, and a ton of other investing options as well. Plus, they've also got this banking feature, but that's not what we're going to talk about in today's video. So let's go back to that home screen, and we're actually going to scroll down and click on my Roth IRA. But again, regardless of what account you personally have, this process that I'm about to show you is going to be exactly the same. So once you go into whatever account you plan on investing in, you're going to scroll down and you're going to see the different investments that you are currently invested in. And as you can see, all these different asset classes here do not currently include cryptocurrency. And that's why we want to add cryptocurrency to this passive investing portfolio. And to my knowledge, at least when you're setting up the account, that isn't something that is going to happen automatically. And you do have to manually select that you want to invest in cryptocurrencies and make that part of your Wealthfront portfolio. So whether you are setting up a brand new account or you're adding it to your existing Wealthfront account, what you'll want to do is go down to the bottom of the screen and you'll see this button here that says edit portfolio. And we're going to go ahead and click on that. And what this is going to do is bring up the specific investments that you're actually invested in. For example, VTI, which is a Vanguard total stock market ETF, and all of these other ETFs that Wealthfront is passively investing in for me. And again, there's nothing in here that has anything to do with cryptocurrency. So at the top of the screen, you're going to have this button here that's basically a switch to edit investments. And if you click that, you can then scroll down and there's this add investment button. And before we click on that, obviously, you can also slide these sliders if you want to adjust the percentage of your portfolio that is invested in different sectors. So again, we're specifically focusing on crypto. So if you hit that add investment button, that's then going to bring up a ton of different asset classes that you can invest in. And whether you're looking to invest in cryptos or you want to just add a different kind of investment to your portfolio, this is exactly where you would take care of that. So you can add U.S. stocks, bonds, and all these different asset classes. But all the way at the bottom, you've got the cryptocurrency trusts. Now, again, I have made a full video talking about what these trusts actually are and what they are investing in. But very basically put, you can see that you have a grayscale Ethereum trust as well as a grayscale Bitcoin trust. And essentially, these are what is equivalent to an ETF that is investing passively in cryptocurrencies and specifically in this case, Ethereum and Bitcoin. Now, to my knowledge, there is no way to invest in other cryptocurrencies or altcoins. And right now, Ethereum and Bitcoin are the only two options. But if you saw my recent video on the top five best 
cryptocurrencies, in my opinion, then you know that personally I am most heavily investing in Ethereum and Bitcoin. So this is really going to be just fine for me. All right, so you'll want to decide where you want to invest, and you can invest in both Ethereum and Bitcoin. But for the sake of today's example, let's just click on the Ethereum option. So this is then going to bring up a line graph with different time ranges that you can see how well this asset has been performing over the past given period of time. So you've got five years, three years, and all these different things that can show you how Ethereum has really appreciated in value over the past several years. Scrolling down from there, it's going to give you a little description of what exactly not only Ethereum truly is, but what this particular grayscale ETF is investing your money in. You've also got the price of this ETF as of the last closing, which in this case is December 31st. You've got the risk rating, which is very high. And that is true in the sense that compared to other investments that Wealthfront would invest in, this is very highly volatile. But in comparison to other crypto investments, I would say that an Ethereum ETF is definitely on the lower end of the scale, at least in terms of cryptocurrencies. So I guess what I'm trying to say is don't let that very high risk steer you away, because if you're willing to invest in cryptocurrencies, then that is naturally going to come with a higher level of risk and hopefully a higher potential return as well. All right, but scrolling down from there, this is something that I do really want to point out, and that is the expense ratio, which is currently 2.5%, and that is really high. Personally, anything above 1% is really high when it comes to any kind of mutual fund or ETF, and even that is pushing it. So 2.5% as a management fee is a little bit insane in my opinion, especially considering this is just investing in Ethereum. However, again, this platform is completely passive. So if you have no idea or desire to spend time investing in cryptocurrencies on your own and trying to pick out different cryptos or even just buying something like Ethereum on your own, then 2.5% is not that high of a fee, especially considering that Ethereum or Bitcoin has the potential to increase significantly more in price than a more traditional form of investment. So just something to keep in mind there. And you can see the 52 week high, the 52 week low, which is a pretty big delta if you look at that. And then you've also got the net assets, which is currently about $11.6 billion. The trading volume is very high, and that's the last thing at the bottom of the screen. So if we want to add this to our portfolio, we're going to scroll up and click the Add Portfolio button. And it's now going to give you a little warning that says, heads up, crypto can't exceed 10% of your portfolio value. And that is just a general rule that Wealthfront has set up. And while that may be a bummer to some of you, again, if you're looking to invest more than 10% of your total portfolio in cryptocurrencies, then you're probably not looking to do that in a passive platform like Wealthfront that is really only going to allow you to invest in Ethereum and Bitcoin. So not that big of a deal if you ask me, but again, just something to make you aware of. So it just gives you a little description of what it means by that. So of the Bitcoin and Ethereum options in Wealthfront, those combined cannot exceed 10%. So it's now going to bring us back to that screen that we were looking at earlier. And you can now see that the Grayscale Ethereum Trust is at the top of the screen here. And the default allocation is 0%. So what you want to do is decide how much of your portfolio you want to invest in this. And again, you can only go up to 10%. And the slider does let you go all the way up to 100, but it'll later on give you an error message and not actually let you do that. So we're going to set this to 10% of our portfolio. And then what you'll also have to do is adjust the other investments, because as you see at the bottom of the screen here, we now have 110% total investment, which is obviously impossible. So let's take 2% um, away from VTI, 2% away from VEA. All right, so I think that looks good, and we are now at a total investment of 100%. And again, if you go below 100% like that, it will again give you that red air message at the bottom of the screen and not let you click continue. So you do have to have that total at exactly 100% to continue. There we go, and then we're going to click the continue button in the bottom right-hand corner. All right, and then it is going to give you this one final message that says we'll transition to the new target allocation over the next few trading days. And again, this just means that this isn't going to happen immediately with Wealthfront, and they are slowly going to sell off assets that you lowered and increase assets that you obviously increased, like Ethereum in this case. And that process does take a few days, especially if you are doing this on a market close day. So they will immediately start to buy Ethereum because cryptocurrencies are traded 24-7, but they will have to lower your allocation in order to make those purchases. So just know that it is going to take a few days. So then you want to just click this update portfolio button. 
And there we go, we now just invested 10% of our portfolio into the Ethereum Grayscale Trust. And as you can see, this now kicks us back to the home screen that we were on when we first logged in, and cryptocurrency is now right here. So the target is 10%, and it shows us that currently it's at 0%. So over the next few days, that current number will start to match the target percentage. And you can see that the other numbers that we changed with the current and target allocation are a little bit different. So again, those numbers will also start to change over the next few days, as well front automatically readjust our portfolio. So all in all, that process is very simple, but now let's switch over to the Wealthfront app and show you how to do that on there as well. All right, so obviously you want to go ahead and download the Wealthfront app on either the iOS or Android app stores. And in this case, it's gonna ask us to log in as it would when you're just downloading the app. So we'll go ahead and do that, enter the security code. And now it's going to bring us to a homepage that looks very, very similar to the one that we saw on the desktop. So we're not going to go over that again because it's basically exactly the same. But if we scroll down, you'll find the exact same Roth IRA. And in this case, I have reset the portfolio back to when we started at the beginning of the video. So if you scroll down through the different assets, you'll see that once again, there is no cryptocurrency in this portfolio. And again, just like the desktop app, if you scroll all the way down, you're going to see this edit portfolio button. And if you go ahead and click on that, it is going to give you a very similar menu where you can adjust your percentage allocations based on how much you want to invest in each asset class. And again, just like the desktop app, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of this menu, it's going to have an add investment button. So you can go ahead and click on that. And at the bottom there, you're gonna have the cryptocurrency trusts. And again, you have Ethereum and Bitcoin. So this time, just for the sake of variety, let's add the Bitcoin trust. So similarly to the desktop, again, you're just gonna click on the Bitcoin one. It shows you the different charts for the different time periods. And then you can click the add to portfolio button after, of course, reading the description and the different warnings and information about this more volatile type of investment. So let's click the add to portfolio button. Again, it's going to give you that heads up that you cannot exceed 10% of crypto investments in your overall Wealthfront portfolio. So we're just going to click continue. And then it's going to add Bitcoin to the top of that investment screen that we showed earlier. So again, you can adjust all your different percentages and you see at the bottom left hand corner here, you've got total 100%. So let's say we want to invest 10% in this Bitcoin trust. And again, we'd have to adjust the other investments so that the total in the bottom left corner is 100%. So we're just going to lower VTI to keep things simple. And then we're going to click continue and it's going to give you that one last warning message that, hey, this is a volatile investment and here's what's going to happen with your overall portfolio over the next few days. And then you just click update and we have now passively invested and adjusted our portfolio into cryptocurrencies right from our smartphone. So overall, the Wealthfront app in the Wealthfront desktop platform are very similar. And honestly, of all of the financial technology platforms that I have reviewed, I would say that Wealthfront is one of the best in terms of making their smartphone platform and their desktop platform very similar to use. So there you go. In a matter of a few short minutes, we were able to easily add cryptocurrencies as a passive form of investment to our passive Wealthfront automated investing portfolio. Again, if you want some more specific information on where exactly Wealthfront is investing this money within your portfolio, then I will leave a link to my full review on the Wealthfront crypto tool down in the description below. Personally, I love the fact that Wealthfront has finally added this to their passive investing tool. And as you know, I absolutely love the Wealthfront platform as a whole and the fact that they are adjusting and recognize that cryptocurrencies is becoming a more legitimate form of investment every single day is a really good sign for this company's future in my opinion. So again, if you do want to try out Wealthfront and passively invest in cryptos, then I will leave a link in the description below where you can sign up and get your first $5,000 of investments managed for completely free. If you did get value out of this content and you want to help support me, the easiest way to do that is actually by checking out some of my favorite financial tools down in the description below, including that offer from Wealthfront, where again, you can get that $5,000 managed for free. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future. And of course, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it so much. Take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.